idea that we're here to present to you today has been in the making for over seven years. An idea considered by a number of different prefect bodies before us, and an idea that we truly think is so important, the changing of our guild names. I know that on a gut reaction, it might seem like something unnecessary and uncalled for. And I know that because we thought so too. But after months of research, what we found is not only a need for change, but a way to improve our school community. And it's because of that, that as a year group and a prefect body, we propose a change in our guild names to two models we're going to talk to you about today. So why? Well, the current guild names are named after Sir John Forrest, Augustus Gregory, Lachlan Macquarie and William Wentworth. For those of you who don't know who these men were, Gregory, Wentworth and Macquarie were Australian explorers and Forrest was a premier. When this uh, proposal was first brought up a couple of years ago, the question came up um, that if we were an all-girls school, why were, we, were, why were our guilds named after men? At first it was dismissed because it seemed like there would have had to have been a reason, but over the next few years and past few months, what we have found by looking at the archives and speaking to members of staff was that these names were actually selected almost at random. In fact, even though Sir John Forrest was a Premier, he wasn't even the Premier of New South Wales, but the Premier of Western Australia. On top of this, most of these men had racist tendencies that were devastating for Aboriginal communities. Forrest, in his role as Premier, tried to justify keeping Aboriginal men in chains by saying if they were not so chained, they would run away. Macquarie de directly ordered the number of massacres of the Aboriginal people by telling troops to rid of the natives on any soil you claim. He also said things like natives were destined to be found as servants of European masters, and a number of discriminatory policies were implemented under his governance. Wentworth throughout his career also repetitively argued against Aboriginal people's right to justice. In court, Wentworth gave a speech describing Aboriginal people as wild men and compared their testimonies to the chattering of orangutans. In the end, what we found was that these men had um, not only had no connection to our school, but their beliefs did not represent our values, particularly because PLC has such high regard for its Aboriginal community. After this, we decided to look into house names of other all-girls schools, and what we found was quite astonishing. In the entirety of the A. Higgs organisation across all 31 schools, PLC is the only all-girls school that has all of their guild names named after men that weren't past principals or directly linked to the school. The only one. What all this information shows us is what that was, there was a need for change. These men don't represent our values as a school and changing them gives us an opportunity to amend this. There are two models that we believe are strong options for our replacement names. And in the process of deciding on these, we consider the range of different options, from the names of stars to phrases from our school motto. In the end, the first potential model we decided on was the names of influential Australian women, women that contributed significantly to not only Australia as a whole, but also our school and our community. This includes women like Miles Franklin, Edith Cohen, Margaret Preston, Mary Gilmore, and many others. And by getting feedback from you all, we hope to add to this list. What this change will do is make our school stronger. It gives us role models to look up to and goals to strive towards. It lets, lets us honour the women that have shaped our history and, shown and sh allows us to show appreciation for the people who have contributed to our education today. As an all-girls school, it emphasises our values and it's because of this that the model is so important. The second potential op option was actually inspired by the old girls. The Year 12s over the past few weeks have been writing to some of PLC's oldest past students, and in almost every single letter, the old girls has have mentioned the campus they were once on and how fond of it they were. It is because of this that the second model is in fact past locations of PLC. These include Tullock, West Home, Virida, McRae, Scott and Montrose, and this model also connects us to our history and our community. In the end, what we found over the past months of research was that there was a need to improve on our guild names and both of these models have the capacity to do just that. Um, we, whether it's women or locations, we believe this change will genuinely benefit our school. The next step is to essentially figure out where we go from here. If this was our why, what was our how? After making a proposal, we are currently in the phase of consultation. As part of this, the Year 12s are going to be coming to your pastoral care classes this week. Early next term, we're going to be voting to decide both whether or not the guild names should be changed and also which model they will be changed to. 
For the proposal to pass, we need a 70% approval from the students, the staff, the old girls and the alumni. Ultimately, we know that this isn't going to be easy. We know that it's not going to happen overnight and we know that for so many of you, these guilds and their names mean so, so much. After being at PLC for the past 12 years, I'm also so personally connected to these guilds. To show you that I'm not being fake, I actually brought along a prop. This is a rock that I painted when I was six with all the guild names on it. I know that it might seem like an incredibly strange thing to do, but I lived in Gaia at the time and this is about as interesting as my life got. <laughs> The point is, I love these guilds, but what makes them so special is not their name, it's the students in them. And this isn't gonna change that. We genuinely care about this school, and this proposal isn't an attempt to attack the current names. It's our way of trying to improve them. As an all girls school, our comfort is no longer a good enough excuse when this change is so long overdue. Yes, it will be hard, but it will be worth it. And that's why every single student in the entirety of year 11 and 12 are in support of this proposal and why we genuinely hope you will be too. Thank you.